With spring in full bloom, allergy season is in full effect. And if your allergies have been acting up lately, you are not alone. And joining us today is Rite Aid Summer Curley, one of the country's top clinical pharmacists to share how to survive these seasonal symptoms. Welcome. Uh, thank you for having me, Laura. Summer, how common are allergies? Allergies are very common. Almost 50% of the population suffers from some type of allergic disorder, whether it be due to seasonal allergies, pet dander, food allergies. Now we know that different allergens spike at different times of year, but what traditionally triggers allergies? So for seasonal allergies in the spring, it's because things are blooming. So the pollen count starts to increase as trees bloom and the grass grows. As we go through the year during the summertime, usually ragweed causes more allergic symptoms and then even mold in the wintertime. And what are some possible signs that your child may have allergies? So children are going to have the same same symptoms, the itchy eyes, watery eyes, runny nose, congestion. Normally, we don't see children suffer from seasonal allergies to around the age of four. That's because at that point, they've cycled through four full seasons. If you notice them in uh, younger children, it can sometimes be due to pet dander or dust mites. And if they progress, it's always best to have them seen by their pediatrician. Now, people often try to power through the day and self-medicate. How do we know which over-the-counter remedies to use? You're usually treating your symptoms. Um, so for over-the-counter products, again, if it's the itchy, watery eyes, your best bet's probably an antihistamine. Then you have to decide if you want uh, a product that could cause drowsiness or the, a non-drowsy version. For an antihistamine, Benadryl usually causes drowsiness. Claritin's usually your non-drowsy. Then if you got the stuffy nose, you may need a decongestant. And what about alternative treatments for allergy symptoms? So at Rite Aid, we want to make sure that we're meeting our customers' needs. So some people prefer not to take your traditional over-the-counter medication. For those individuals, we may suggest an essential oil like spearmint or peppermint or eucalyptus or a saline a nasal irrigation system like a neti pot. And then even acupuncture is an option for uh, those that suffer from allergies. Summer, do you have any strategies for surviving allergies while traveling? When you travel, it's really important to understand what the pollen count is. So you can find that information at the Weather Channel or on the WeatherBug app. It will give uh, regional pollen counts. Take your medication with you and take the medicine while you have symptoms. Don't stop just because you think you're starting to feel better. You can always visit your local Rite Aid and talk to your Rite Aid pharmacist, or you can go to RiteAid.com um, to see more products that we offer and we do offer delivery or buy online and pick up at the store. Summer, we thank you so much for these helpful tips to help us all breathe a little easier this spring. Thank you. And we thank you for joining us on San Diego Living. We'll see you next time.